CBS FM remembers January 12th, 1974. Let's get right to it at CBS FM 101.1. How are you? This is Dan Tanner with you on CBS FM. A bonus hit, a solo Beatle Air photograph. Ringo Starr kicking things off 604. Let's jump into 29 years ago, January 12, 1974. It was a Saturday. The weather, windy, cold. Pollution levels acceptable. The temperature, the high today, according to the paper, 35, the low 25. President Richard Milhouse Nixon, our 37th. Governor Malcolm Wilson, 50th Gov. The mayor, Ed Beam, our 104th mayor, newly inaugurated, as a matter of fact. All right, there you go. And I was just looking here. Of course, they didn't tell you how to wear the battery on a knapsack on your back, right? First class letter rises to a dime. A dime! Okay, let's get into what was happening on this day, too, on the tube at 8 o'clock, Channel 2. All in the Family, starring Carol O'Connor as Archie Bunker. Archie's more surprised about what his birth certificate says as he is by a surprise birthday party. On Broadway, Barbara McNair and Cab Calloway star in the Pajama Game at the Lundfontan Theater. Orchestra seats put you into poverty at $15 at the movies. Remember, American Graffiti started that year. Where were you in 62? Called one of the year's 10 best by Vincent Candy of the Times. It's at the Columbia 2 and the 2nd Avenue in 64th. And in sports, led by Phil Jackson, the second-place Knicks beat the Supersonics by nine, while the ABA League leading Nets edged the Pacers by three, thanks to rookie Super John Williamson's game-high 35 points. Highlights of 29 years ago here on CBS FM 101.1. Let's get into the survey at number 20, a tune that's on the countdown here at CBS FM. It features an R&B group out of Jersey that would chalk up their first top ten hit. Actually, it would go as high as number five. And at number 20, as you drive around in your Datsun B210, Remember with me, Cool and the Gang on CBS FM and Jungle Boogie hit the gong. At CBS FM, Jungle Boogie number 20 on the top 20, 1974 on this date. Here at 101.1, where all the good songs have gone, the wild songs. At number 19, it's down three from 16. Now, this tune is from a cult movie of the same name. Both the song and the film would actually come back a few times over the years. First released in 71 and 74, it was number 19 on this date at CBS FM. It's Coven. Tin Soldier, CBS FM. CBS FM Top 20, One Tin Soldier, number 19 on our Top 20. We're doing it this day 29 years ago, believe it, 1974. Well, number 18 is down four from 14. It's from Motown. It features a singer who, well, made his debut with a tune called Fingertips back in 63. You know who I'm talking about, of course. 11 years later, he's still moving with this tune, uh, Sign of Trouble Times, and the edited version here on CBS FM shows up at number 18, Stevie Wonder and Living for the City. CBS FM, Living for the City. Hitting close to home for Stevie Wonder here on CBS FM. On the survey comes in at number 18 in our top 20, 1974. Some of the highlights of 74, People Magazine debut that year. Remember who's on the first cover, People Magazine? That's right, Mia Farrow was on the cover, launched that whole era of celebrity journalism. That's when it began, too. Telephone answering machines were popular in 1974. Yep, and uh, President Ford pardons former President Nixon that year, too. 74, some of the highlights for you on CBS FM 101.1. Hang on. Get back into the survey here in just a few. We got a song from Eric Burden and the Animals. Well, it was formerly with the Animals. Something else. You know what it is in 74. It's coming up 32 right now. The Real Field 26, 101 on your radio. CBS FM. Top 20 countdown. CBS FM. 1974 on CBS FM. Somebody called me earlier and said, Dan, do you remember Easy Money, the Easy Money game? Milton Bradley's answer to Monopoly that year came out 74, 29 years ago. That's right. Well, here we are at number 17 of the Top 20. Uh, five from 22, a group that started out with Eric Burden of the Animals, as I mentioned before the break, as lead singer. But they got progressively more R&B with each release. And here is the release that showed up here in 74 on CBS FM. Number 17, 29 years ago. This is War. Me and Baby Brother at CBS FM 101.1. CBS FM, me and baby brother, it's war on 101.1. Number 17, top 20, 1974 here at CBS FM. Number 16's up a notch from 17. And a former Beatle who formed Wings after leaving the Fab Four. Now, this release from Thanksgiving of 73 was still climbing the charts in January of 74. It wasn't actually supposed to be. Uh, it was not to be included on the next Wings album, but uh, Capitol Records in America insisted the LP would sell more copies if the song was on it. So Paul consented to let American copies of Band on the Run contain this song, which was actually named after Paul's land. Rover. Yeah. 
Helen Wheels on CBS FM, number 16, 29 years ago today. CBS FM 101.1, Motown, Soul, and Great Rock and Roll. You got it. Wings and Company. Paul McCartney, Helen Wheels on CBS FM, number 16 of the top 20. It's 1974. We show up at number 15 with a song that's up three from 18. And the title tune of a movie co-starring this singer and Robert Redford. It was her first number one hit and actually the first single to stay on the charts for more than five months. Earned an Academy Award for Best Film Song of 73. Uh, and Billboard's the top as the top pop single of 74. And a Grammy as Song of the Year as well, too. I mean, all those awards going to this tune. Barbra Streisand shows up at number 15 on CBS FM and The Way We Were. CBS FM, 101.1, home of the hits and a bonus one, too. Yeah, Harold Melvin, the Blue Notes, Love and Lost on CBS FM, the top 20, 1974, which was the year of the, remember the Holly Hobby Electric Stove by Coleco? Yeah, it worked on the same principles, the Easy Bake Oven. And I used to see the commercials on TV, and I wondered why did it always say light bulb not included? Light bulb not included everywhere. And I used to have some great toys growing up. I was very lucky to have some neat little toys. Some of them were hand-me-downs, but I'd always take everything apart to see how it worked, you know? <laughs> and when I was over at my buddy's house, his sister had a Holly Hobby Electric Stove by Coleco, and I just said, I'm going to find out why there's a light bulb not included so i started to take it apart <laughs> and so now i found out oh the light bulb is the thing that creates the heat oh, okay now i'm getting all i'm a slow learner you know i'll tell you well there you go so now you know maybe you had one and it's worth a million bucks on ebay now probably too let's move on with the survey here at cbs fm 101.1 it shows up at number 14 up a notch from 15 a group that uh, sandwiched actually this release between feeling stronger every day and i've been searching so long and you know who they are and i'll tell Anything they do is all right by me. The finest band in the land is Chicago at number 14, 29 years ago today, and just you and me. CBS FM 101.1, Chicago. Love it. It's great. Just you and me, number 14, the top 20 here. We'll get into some sensual soul at number 13 as we reach the Baker's Dozen of the top 20 of this date in 74. Down one from 12, the great 40-piece orchestra conducted and arranged by the great Barry White. The instrumental actually crossed over from 73 into 74. at CBS FM, lucky number 13, Love Unlimited Orchestra. Loves the... CBS FM 101.1, Love Unlimited Orchestra, number 13. And look who shows up at number 12 on the countdown. The guy that was behind the great orchestra there at CBS FM at number 12, down a notch from 11. And the guy who conducted and arranged the Love Unlimited Orchestra with his vocal hit from early in 74. Barry White on CBS FM shows up at number 12, dubbed Sensual Soul. Then this is never going to give you up. Barry's going to breathe off. CBS FM, the music you grew up with. And as I've said before, when that was on the radio, we grew up pretty fast when Barry White's music is playing here at CBS FM. Uh, when Taylor Dane did a version uh, a bunch of years later of uh, his song, Can't Get Enough of Your Love, Babe, put two together, uh, Barry's career kind of crossed almost with mine for a little bit because we had a chance to almost release a single. We put uh, put together Taylor Dane along with uh, a Barry White's version of Can't Get Enough of Your Love. We made a nice tune out of it, played around the country a little bit, but uh, couldn't get all the record companies together to agree on releasing it as a single. But uh, Barry was talking about putting it as a we really liked it. It would have been kind of fun to do that. But uh, just to say, we used to call it the Taylor Dan mix. <laughs> it was fun back then. CBS FM, number 11 on the survey, is down three from eight back in 74. It's a tune that originally came out in 69, but the same singer, a different name. In 69, it was Naz. In 74, it was this guy, Todd Rundgren, on CBS FM 101.1. Shows up at number 11, playing on your little AM radio back in 1974. I believe that's 29 years ago. Hello, it's me on CBS FM. CBS FM 101.1 bonus hit time. Well, lady who's performing tonight at the John Harm Center for the Arts out in Inglewood, New Jersey. Olivia Newton John bonus hit from 1974. CBS FM 101.1 bonus hit Olivia Newton John here at 101.1 Top 20. We're doing 1974. Maybe you were doing a paper route back then, dreaming of owning a Ford Pinto, three door hatchback, 2,600 of your hard earned dollars. Yeah. <laughs> 1974, as was uh, the Dean Martin show in its last uh, year. Yep, here's the theme in the background. As we tell you, also 8.30 tonight on Channel 5, Don Kirshner's Rock Concert stars the Steve Miller Band of the Raspberries. On Broadway, James Earl Jones stars in The Iceman Cometh at the Circle in the Square Theater. All seats are $7.95. $7.95, believe that. At the movies, Al Pacino stars in Serpico at the Forum 47th Street Theater on Broadway. Judith Christ of the New York uh, Magazine called it the best picture of the year. That's right. 
And what was going on in sports? The fourth place Rangers travel to Vancouver to take on the Canucks tonight as GM Emil Francis comes back to take over coaching duties after the firing of uh, Larry Provine. There you go. Some of the highlights of 1974 on CBS FM. Oh, it was also, it was the year of the thong bikini, too. I, you know, I just felt obligated to tell you about that, so you, now you know. It's three minutes till 7 o'clock. We'll get back into the survey here in just a sec with more of the top 20 of 1974 on CBS FM 101.1. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Vice President Phil will be sworn in as president at that hour in this office. CBS FM 101.1 with a hits you remember and a good one too. Has John Lennon mind games bonus hit 1974 on CBS FM. I believe it was 29 years ago. All right, let's get back into the survey. Number 10, top 10 time here. This is a song by a brother and sister duo that uh, made their top 10 debut in 1970 with a tune called Close to You. And uh, nine top 10 hits later, they added this to their very impressive list. At CBS FM, number 10, the Carpenters on CBS FM. And top of the world. CBS FM 101.1 cruising around in 1974, perhaps in a uh, Toyota Corolla 1600. Remember the, the slogan there, see how much your money can buy, right? Maybe you had a bumper sticker on the back that said, uh, Lady Godiva was a streaker. I'm not a dirty old man. I'm a sexy senior citizen. That was the year that came out. Uh, LSD is out. IUD is in. And, of course, streaking very popular in 1974. I remember that <laughs> in high school. Yeah, that was uh, quite a time indeed. Uh, well, at number nine, this song shows up, uh, and it's up four from 13. And it's a guy that brought us a song back in 60. It was called The Snake, and he was assigned a producer by the name of Jerry Fuller, and they started sifting through some tunes to really get his career started again, and they got to a tune called Show and Tell. And I tell you what, this guy said, I could make this a hit. Well, Jerry said, well, I had the song written for Johnny Mathis. He had an easy listening hit with it in 72. But Al Wilson convinced him that he could turn it into a monster pop record as well. And a big comeback hit it turned out for him. It's CBS FM, top of the charts in January of 74. It shows up this week, number nine, 29 years ago. Al Wilson, show and tell. CBS FM, the music you grew up with. Al Wilson on the comeback trail, show and tell. Song number nine in the top 20. We're doing the year 1974 this time around on the countdown. Down to number eight, it's down a notch for seven. A former Motown group that was uh, following up their first top ten after leaving Barry Gordy Jr.'s label. And their previous release, Midnight Train to Georgia, you know, you know that topped the charts. And inside the top ten, we show up at number eight with this one. Gladys Knight and the Pips on CBS FM. Oh, you know this song. Really got to use my imagination on CBS FM. Not in the year of streaking, you didn't, did you? CBS FM, Pete Scale to Pelham Bay, playing your favorite oldies. And it turns out it's 1974 in the top 20. Got to use my imagination. And it's one from Gladys Knight here on CBS FM, which was the uh, sports stuff going on tonight. You want to know about the seventh place? The Islanders traveled to Minnesota to skate against the North Stars tonight, 29 years ago, of course. On the two, the Mary Tyler Moore Show is on Channel 2 at 9 p.m. Let's see what TV guys say. Tonight, Phyllis tries to get Lou to sell his house so he can bury his past memories. At the movies, Paul Newman, Robert Redford star in the Sting. What a great, great movie. At the Lowe's State 2 Theater, Broadway and 45th. Broadway, Debbie Reynolds stars in Irene at the Vinscoff. Channel 7 calls Debbie Reynolds superb. There you go. Some of the highlights of 1974 on CBS FM 101.1. Chilly out there. It's going to be chilly again tomorrow. We're into this cold streak here. 32 right now. The greatest hits of all time. And it's 101.1 on your radio. Got a bonus hit coming up. Hang on, all right? CBS FM. CBS FM 101.1 bonus hit, Jim Croce, and he's going to make an encore performance in our top 20 coming up a little bit here on 101.1. We're back into the survey here at number seven. We're doing 1974, if you just tuned in, and we're down four from three with this knighted British superstar who may have been following Dorothy and Toto when he releases 74 crossover from October 73 here at CBS FM. It shows up at number seven. He will be a presenter at the Golden Globes this year in about eight days or so. Elton John, oh, excuse me, Sir Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, number 
seven. CBS FM, Elton John. Here you go. And goodbye, Yellow Brick Road here at CBS FM. Shows up at number seven 29 years ago. Good grief. I was sweating through driver ed about this time. <laughs> Let's get to song number six on the survey. It's up three from nine, featuring a rock and trio that would reach the top three. That would become their only hit. And at number six, I can remember them cranking this up in the uh, south lounge of our high school at the time. Brownsville Station on CBS FM, smoking in the boys' room. What a way. CBS FM. We're into the countdown. It's song number six from Brownsville Station. We got five to go to number one. And Don Key read on the way here at CBS FM. Ah, oh, time for some lists. Let's get to the top five LPs for the week ending January 12th, 74. Yes, they were LPs back then, remember? <laughs> number five, the Joker Steve Miller Band. Number four, I Got a Name Jim Croce. Number three, Goodbye Yellowbrook Road. Of course, Elton, we just heard that. Two, the singles of 1969, 1973, The Carpenters. And the number one LP, You Don't Mess Around with Jim, Jim Croce here from CBS FM 101.1 1974. Yeah, it was the year of transcendental meditation, too. And uh, to minimize the effects of the energy crisis, remember they had year round daylight savings time? Oh, that was real smart. I remember going to school at, uh, you know, in the morning to the bus stop, and a couple of kids got hurt because people were racing to the train station. It was pitch black outside. It was weird. And they changed that in a hurry. All right, we're going to play a bonus hit for you at CBS FM. Go out the piano, please. Oh, Lady Soul is here. Aretha Franklin on CBS FM going to wrap on your door. This is way before rap music, as a matter of fact. CBS FM, don't lie spiders, don't lie snakes. And it's uh, Jim Stafford here at CBS FM 101.1. But bonus hit for you at 101.1. Spiders and snakes shows up on the, our bonus hit list uh, today. 22 till 8 o'clock, 1974 we're doing. we got five to go to number one. Don K. Reed on the way uh, here at CBS FM. And uh, I want to tell you just uh, some of the information used in CBS FM's Top 20 Oldies Countdown contains music consistent with our format. It is compiled from various sources. So now you know. All right, let's just check out some of the events going on in 1974. We look at Sports here, and uh, the Astrodome in Houston, the home of Super Bowl five, six, seven, eight. Do you believe it? All those years ago, twenty nine years ago, the Miami Dolphins try for their second consecutive Super Bowl win. The Fish are favored over the Vikings in tomorrow's game at the movies. Walt Disney's Robin Hood is at Radio City on the great stage, the Nativity, and Worldwide Christmas featuring the Rockettes on the Tube at ten on Channel Two. The Carol Burnett Show guest Edie Gourmet and Paul Sand on Broadway. A Moon for the Misbegotten, starring Jason Robards and Colleen Dewhurst, is at the Mirage. Moscow Theater. Doug Watt of the Daily News calls it a great and brilliant play. Some of the highlights of 1974 on this date here at CBS FM. We reached the top five. This song is up five from ten. It features another ex Beatle. We played a bonus hit from him earlier who left the nest to make a name for himself, having already reached the top of the charts with his previous release. He would do it again. Yes, he would, with a single that came out at Christmas time in 73. In at number five, Ringo Starr on CBS FM. Your 16. CBS FM 101.1. Ringo on the survey here at 101.1 CBS FM at number five. On the countdown to number four for the second week, our first in the stall spot, actually, is a singer from Australia who had actually just topped the charts with a previous release of Delta Dawn. And uh, this one, she'd come close this time, getting as high as number three on the survey. It shows up here at CBS FM this week, 29 years ago, at number four. Talk about big old ruby red dress. Miss Helen Reddy on CBS FM. CBS FM, Helen Reddy, leave me alone, big old ruby red dress. Shows up here on the survey at number four in top 20 on CBS FM. National Geographic Channel celebrates its New York debut on Time Water Cable by welcoming New York explorers to two exciting events, an urban climbing open house at Nike Town on Monday, January 13th, and a West Point Challenge at the Sports Center at Chelsea Piers on January 18th and 19th. For your free booklet, give them a call at 212-846-5191. CBS FM with you in mind. I got the mind to play another bonus hit here. Solo Supreme on CBS FM. CBS FM. Last time I saw him, Diana Ross. Bonus hit, 1974 on CBS FM. Number three on the series, up a couple from five. And a rocker who was headed for the top of the charts in January of 74. It wouldn't be his last trip either. He and his band would do it actually a couple more times in the 70s and in the 80s, as a matter of fact. I remember a Rolling Stone dubbing him the man without a face. And although he developed an enthusiastic following, he remained a relative unknown. People tended to be fans of the albums, he said, and not of me, Steve Miller. Well, we are a fan of this song and it earned this number three spot today.
Day, 29 years ago on CBS FM, the Steve Miller Band and the Joker. CBS FM 101.1, the Joker, Steve Miller Band of the Top 20 Oldies Countdown shows up at number three. Number two is down a notch from number one, the singer they call the Silver Fox, who started out doing actually rock and roll before crossing over to country. And this tune, a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll would top both genres of music. What a wonderful man. Do miss him. Great guy. At number two, Charlie Rich on CBS FM, the most beautiful girl. CBS FM 101.1, the old Silver Fox, Charlie Rich, the most beautiful girl in the world, song number two on the top 20 here at CBS FM. Dan Taylor saying thank you so much for checking in. Remember, you can make it a better day for somebody else. We'll see you tomorrow after Harry at 9 in the morning. Hang on. Don K. Reed's on the way with more of your favorite oldies here at CBS FM. Before we get to the number one song on this day, we got to thank some folks out in the programming department who helped out with the program. Mel Phillips, Jeff Macy, and Phil DeGaspers. Thank you so much. And let's get to the song here that shows up on the survey at number one here at CBS FM. It's up from number two. It's the second chart topper for this late singer who was at the top of the charts, tragically after he left us. The number one song 29 years ago today on CBS FM, January 12th, 1974. Jim Croce on CBS FM, something we all need, time in a bottle. Thank you. 